House Divided. Episode 2. Clementine, are you alright? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! We got yeah, attacked. By who? Walkers. Jesus! Pete got killed. I was with Nick, but... Thank God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her. And don't tell her anything. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. And thank you. It's like the intro, or the outro of last episode. But your car was coming. Say cheese! Oh, uh, what? I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Sure. Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? Oh no. Okay, I'm ready. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? He'll be fine. Are you sure? Sorry, I, I, I just need to... You want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? It's too dangerous. dangerous. Everything is dangerous. I need to know sometime. You should let your dad teach you. What should I shoot? Don't do that! S She's sorry. crazy. Sorry! Sorry! Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Don't. Hey, Luke's back! Snap, Sarah. Oh, serious? Oh no, someone's coming. Oh, snap. That's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Go and find somewhere to hide. What? Where? No. Clem, I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Shh. Hello. Lock it. Hello there. Hello. How are you? Okay. How are you? Well, I'm doing just fine. Thank you. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? What's Shouldn't your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. Here. Pleasure to meet you. 
mind if I come in for a bit? Yes, I do, I do mind. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Just me, me and, and Dad. Yeah? What's his name? Ed. Strong name. I like him already. Where is he? He's out. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. I haven't seen them. Well, that's a shame. You sure? Pretty sure. Plates for two people. Looks like a tornado ran through here. Yeah, well, I'm supposed to be doing the dishes. Just passing through, or you've been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri La. Just, Just passing, passing through, going north. Whole lot of people headed that way lately. Me, I don't get it. There's just as much nothing up there as there is down here. And I can't you stand that Yankee weather. Have you been north? Well, not since before, but I've heard things. Where does this go? Over there. Uh, in the drawer there. Well, it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. What happened, what happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? What's that? I thought you said nobody's here. It's probably just the wind. Oh snap. Where's this guy now? Now he knows. Oh snap. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Oh, wow. Who's this? My sister. She's dead. Really? Well, I'm very sorry to hear that. Thanks. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Do you know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? 
What's your point? Your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Why shouldn't sure I trust, I trust them? them? You have a real good day now. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? Oh, that was intense. We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. You were with Nick, right? Oh, yeah. We gotta go find him. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am open calm. The door. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. He said his name was George. George? That's what he said. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? Yeah, fur. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of you. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scared of your daughter. It was Sarah's idea. idea. I don't care whose idea it was. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But Where's it's gonna up? be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. That's crazy. I remember we gotta find Nick on our way out of here. You know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Let's go. Now you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. And now know. It's okay. If it's not you I'm yelling at lately, it's Alvin. And then I'm in real trouble. I can handle it. I'm not a little kid. I felt the same way when I was your age. My dad was always giving me shit. And I always thought he didn't know a damn thing. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him, if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? There. That's where we were. Yeah, aren't you? Backstabber. Nick!
Get the door. Lectern. Lectern. Jesus. Hey, man. You got any aspirin? Nick, you asshole. Pete's dead. I know, man, I do. We gotta get moving. Okay, Carver's gang showed up. Can you make it? Yeah. Yeah. Good, let's go. Nick back, which that's good. Hey, Clem. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks for not giving up on me. Don't worry go. about it. I won't forget it. What happened back there in that cellar? He do something stupid? Look, he can tell me. I'm just looking out for him. He yeah, got drunk. I was scared. God damn it, Nick. I'm worried about that kid. You keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises yeah, it won't we'll get you, rougher. Right? Yeah, I'm with you guys. And we are glad to have you. Not everyone is. Well, they'll get there. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. Five days. Nick is walking so slow like a penguin. Five days later. We're at the bridge. I remember this part. Nick is still acting like a penguin. So. <clears throat> she actually has binoculars. See anything? She better see something. We've been walking for a damn she week. Lift. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? Must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. Huh. Here, eat this, Beck. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. Anything else? There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable little girl. I mean, hell, if she can sew up her own arm, she's fit to cross the bridge. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go, too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. 
Mm, sorry, Nick. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. You're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Even the gangs. Now, what do you think they're all after? Safety? Close. Listen, what's the one thing a guy would walk hundreds of miles to get back? Family. Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyway, yeah, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. Seems like we're already in the middle of it. Tell me about it. What's a bed? Bunch of zombies, of course. I'm really surprised about all these zombies right here. Hmm. Can't shoot them. Real. Too much noise. There are only two. What do you think? I think we can take them. I'll take the big one. You get short. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. I must turn it. Hammer. Huh, hammer and machete. Who will win? Or two. Come on. Come on. Go ahead. Give us a good pull. It should come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. Yeah. Thank you. Nice work, kid. That was a little bit cool. Humor. <laughs> if it's clear up ahead. We're gonna get cornered. It looks like we're about to get cornered. Chat's yippee. Shit. What's that, Luke? Okay, Clem, look, we'll, we'll figure something out. Behind you! Oh, shit. Leave it, wow. Get out of here, legs. Head. Get out of here. Uh. Circle. Oh, no, don't fall, Clem. You're alive? How are you still alive? Oh, my hammer! All corn, fun. Get her. Death.
close. Thanks, Clem. Let's keep going. You see him? Yeah. Mm hmm. Just play it cool. You do the talking. What? Why me? I don't want to get in a fight. And you really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. Is he with You're Carver? Cool. It's hard to see. I don't think so. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. I'm Clementine, Luke. and this is Luke. Clementine and Luke. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. I'm not an asshole. Well, are you calling me an asshole? <laughs> you folks headed north like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. You all look the same. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. No Do you know Carver? Carver? Like George Washington Carver? The peanut guy? What? He's a man. Never heard of him. But no, I want some peanut butter, though. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's, uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right, then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, 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 he's, he's with us. Dick! No! Put it down! Stop going. No. I mean, there was more, no way I could have saved him. Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go.